Hi, this is Joe from ExcelFormulas.com. And today we're going to discuss conditional formatting, which is one of Excel's most powerful visual tools. The problem with most Excel sheets is that they are an endless sea of black on white numbers, and you usually have to dig deep and hard to get something of value out of them. Excel's conditional formatting tools allow you to highlight key information automatically. This way, the gems within your data jump right out at you with no digging required. For example, if you want to know who are the top three salespeople at the XYZ widget company, all you have to do is apply a simple formatting rule and you'll get this result. You can also see who the bottom three salespeople are. Let's see how that's done. We start by selecting the cells we want to apply the formatting rule to. Note that in order to select two groups of cells at once, you need to hold down the control key while performing the selection. Now from the Home ribbon, we select Conditional Formatting and then the Top Bottom Rules. And finally, the Top 10 Rules option. Next, we define that we want to see the top three salespeople highlighted in green. It's now visually apparent who the top salespeople are. And the rule is automatic. So if I change some of the values, the formatting will reflect those changes. Excel allows setting multiple formatting rules for the same cells, so I can also set a conditional formatting rule that will highlight the bottom three salespeople in red. To delete a conditional formatting rule, do the following. Select the cells that you want to remove the conditional formatting from. And from the conditional formatting menu, select Clear Rules, and then select Clear Rules from Selected Cells. As you probably noticed, you can also clear the formatting rules from the entire sheet. Excel contains many conditional formatting options. For example, you can use a color scale conditional formatting rule to create a visual differentiation between the numbers in your tables. You can also use data bars formatting to achieve the same results. And you can also use icon sets to highlight the differences in your data. I strongly urge you to explore the many different conditional formatting rules. You can even use formulas to create custom rules for your data. We will cover this in a future lesson. You now know how to use conditional formatting to liven up dull-looking Excel workbooks and make your key information really stand out. Well done! Thank you for your time and attention. For more free Excel training, just enter your first name and email at the top right of this page. You'll get everything you need to know about Excel formulas all in one place. All you need to do is enter your first name and email at the top right of this page. If you are not watching this video on the Excel formulas site, then go to www.freeexcelvideos.com and follow the instructions. 
That's www.freeexcelvideos.com. Thank you.